So, the Vancouver Canucks have just used up their sixth round picks. The first one is their own. It was 169th overall. The second one was 178th overall. Acquired from the Winnipeg Jets in, guess what? The Jordy Ben trade. Yeah. This is the guy that Jordy Ben netted us. Either way, though, let's talk about the Vancouver six round picks over here, starting off with Hugo Gabrielson. Taken by the Vancouver Canucks, 169th overall, he is a 6'1", 172-pound left-handed defenseman. One of the older guys in this draft, but he still has a profile that is desirable. You can see right here, was projected to go somewhere in this range by McKean's. Draft prospects, hockey, and smart scouting actually had him as a lot higher of a pick, so that's interesting to see the contrast over there. You'll note that in the Frolunda Junior 20 Hockey Club, he had a boatload of points as a defenseman, as well as in the Hockey at Tan. He was over there, 7 points in 24 games played. He has been a point-producing defenseman everywhere he has gone, not to mention he's got some pretty good size as well. In fact, a lot of Vancouver Canucks people are super stoked about what it is that Gabrielson is at the NHL level. Let's go ahead and check out the Twitter right here. We have Chris Faber talking about how this is an excellent pickup for the Vancouver Canucks. We have Cam Robinson saying that he's got no issues with it. Highly mobile left shot defender planning to play in the Allsvenskan next season. Chris also said as well that he is an excellent skating defenseman. Then we do have some of the other ones over here. Mikhail Holmes says that Hugo Gabrielson has interesting tools, but his defensive game is quite poor. J.D. Burke as well says, really great read on Hugo Gabrielson from one of his scouting contacts. So Gabrielson looks to be a very nice little pickup there, especially in the sixth round for the Vancouver Canucks. We haven't really had the best track record with a lot of these late round Swedish defensemen going, but doesn't really hurt to add any other ones to potentially help out and sweeten that pool, I guess. With the Jordy Ben pick, though, the Vancouver Canucks selected 178th overall Connor Lockhart, which is a really interesting one to me. Like the previous one we talked about in the Red Wings video, Zito from the Windsor Spitfires, Connor Lockhart did not play a single game this year because the OHL shut down. Last season, he had 27 points in 57 games in the OHL, 4 points in 5 games for Team Red at the U-17s for Team Canada. But Connor Lockhart was seen as a pretty valuable young OHL guy. He was drafted third overall by the Otters in the OHL priority selection. He's supposed to have all this pedigree to his name. However, seeing the fact that he didn't end up playing this year kind of really hurt his draft stock. So he gets taken here by the Canucks all the way down here at 178th overall. He was ranked to go a lot higher, actually, by a lot of these scouting outlets. Future Considerations had him at 58. Puck Authority had him as well there. He knows the next systemic option, how to get out of trouble if he faces pressure, and how to use the width of the ice to support and hide to an extent. His deceptive stance, puck at the hip, allowed him to freeze defenders prior to feeding passes or releasing on net, according to the EP 2021 draft guide. So... Lockhart, he's a guy we'll see how exactly he goes down over the next few years in the OHL. He's really small, too. 5'9", 161 pounds. So this is, like, I think one of the smallest guys the Canucks have drafted in a while. Actually, maybe that just might be his stats from last year, because if he didn't play in the OHL, they wouldn't have had any opportunities to remeasure him, right? I don't know. Talk to me in the comments, though, what you think about Hugo Gabrielson as well as Connor Lockhart, the newest Vancouver Canucks prospects in the sixth round. We've got one more pick for the Canucks to go. We have another pick as well for the Canadians later in the sixth round, and then we have their seventh round pick as well. That's going to be, like, it, I think, for today. We're almost near the end, guys. Talk to me in the comments what you think about these new Canucks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.